Uh, some of the guys put out calls on 5205, so you might want to try that with the FM. If the guys hear you in there on 6 metres and they're listening on SSB, they should hear you squeal and they should come up. 2 metres, 144.2, 144.1, both use SSB, so if you come up on either of those frequencies of FM, I'm pretty sure the guys will switch across. Uh, 70 centimetres, 432.2, 432.1, both are upper side bands. But again, if you come up on FM, the guys should come back to you uh, once a year on, the, on, the, on FM, hear a squeal on side band. And again, 1296.2 and 1296.1, and uh, <coughs> both upper side band. So most of the activity, unfortunately, is on side band. Right, okay, so I should look at potentially getting a, a sideband rig of some description uh, to do this. Maybe I'll flag this weekend then and uh, investigate that a bit further and, um, yeah, maybe I'll have a bit of a listen around and see if I hear anything and, um, but yeah. So j just, you, do you fill in a, 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 do you download the official sheet from the NZRC website and then just fill that in and send it in to them or what's the procedure for that, David? I don't know, I've never got into contesting, it's not my thing, but if you, I presume you'd have to get a log sheet down and log all your contacts and then submit it, uh, but uh, there is a number of disadvantages. So the best thing I suggest you do is contact someone like uh, Simon, z one SWW. he's very keen to go out contesting and just uh, catch a ride with him and uh, uh, just use his equipment or catch hold of Peter, not Peter, uh, Oh, I can't remember the name now. Steve, Z1 TPH. Contact Steve, Z1 TPH. He's always a keen uh, contester, and um, he'll be more than happy to um, for you to come along and enjoy the contesting. So there are two people if you can contact them. Um, you can drive up to their hilltops, and uh, you can use their equipment, and they'll have all the transverters and all the stuff set up. And uh, you'll just operate under their call sign. I'm going to QRZ and see if I can get um, details for um, Peter, you said. Um, and I might email Simon, although I know he's quite busy, so he may not be going out this weekend. Um, no, that's cool. I, yeah, as I said, I'd just like to see it. I've, I've HF contested at, at Music Point, and I really enjoyed it, so I thought I'd give it a go. But obviously, without sideband equipment, it probably makes my job a little harder. <laughs> anyway, how have you been today? Um, I was rudely awoken by the dog and then uh, haven't, haven't been able to get back to sleep, so I'm absolutely exhausted today, so thank goodness it's my last night, over. Yeah, Steve, Z01 TPH is the guy to contact, he's up in Oriwa. Uh, Securez.com, you should find his uh, contact details, or well, might be inside the cover of Spectrum. So, um, yeah, he's definitely into that stuff and uh, he's, he sort of lives his life around the contest weekends. And I know he'll be keen to sort of uh, show you the ropes, so to speak. Today I've been on the Go Wi-Fi website, uh, looking at Wi-Fi equipment, and looking at the frequencies, and um, seeing what's available, and uh, just sort of reading through all the information. I flicked off your link to their site, but somehow the link didn't work. So uh, if you go back and work your way back to the main site, uh, you'll see all the access points and all the bands the stuff operates on. Uh, the one of interest, which I was a bit disappointed in today, which I was hoping to get some more information on, is the Rocket M3. And unfortunately, uh, it only fits in the top end of the 9 centimeter band. We're looking at the Rocket M5. Uh, that's quite uh, frequency agile, right across the 5 centimeter band, from uh, 5.6 right through to about 6 gigs or something. So, um, yeah, so I've just been getting some information out of the supplier on, on the uh, M3, but uh, uh, a bit disappointed. He came back to me and said the frequency range I require is not available, so it only leaves one channel that's usable, and that's basically smack bang on 3.4 gigahertz uh, uh, there, um, Chris. How's it going? It's Chris Ewell, ZL1LW. Ah, hello uh, there, Robert. Yeah, go ahead, I'll... Um I'll come back round after the next um, round of overs, so I'll pass over to you, ZO1LW, ZO1CLH. Yeah, how's it Chris, how's it, um, Grant, trust you guys are well, ZO1LW Mobile, just heading home and, um, just been listening for a wee while, 
Yeah, the um, contact details, details or phone numbers for, for Steve um, and si probably Simon, but for Steve definitely is on uh, the um, ZL1BQ contact page. You'll find the phone numbers there. And uh, if it's, uh, that doesn't work well, he compiles the Spectrum, so you can download one of the Spectrums from the newsletter uh, tab and um, get his uh, contact details in the front cover there. So uh, there you go. That'll uh, that'll get you on. Uh, uh, well, enable you to contact him. Yeah, good stuff on the uh, on all the equipment there, Grant, on the Wi-Fi stuff. Uh, personally, I prefer the Microtech boards. Um, they can handle any um, radio pretty much if you throw with them. So it's uh, the RB311s, I think it was. Um, and um, I think they can handle two or three radios, so it's ideal if, if um, the guys use that because you could always, if you want to use the guy as a repeater, then uh, you just add a radio to, and another antenna to his existing setup, um, which is then at minimal cost. So um, that's that's one uh, good thing with RB uh, controller boards or micro, um, motherboards. As you can add radius. I think the, the bigger one, the 411, can add four radius or something that you can add onto it. Um, so you can uh, run a 2.4 gig, a 5.8 gig, or whatever, and uh, and your uh, 3 gig all on the same board, same motherboard. Um, so you can accommodate all three bands.